everyone. Better late than never. Today is one of those days when <laughs> you have no control over technology. You know, sometimes you think that you have everything set all right. And as the moment the show to start, things just not loading as they should. And where the show must go on. So we are here. Welcome to Let's Talk skincare with a chichi beauty today we're going to be talking about rosehip oil and the wonderful benefits of adding rosehip oil to your skincare routine as you all know if you are a regular on my channel you know that i do use a lot of rose oil and one of the main reasons for using rosehip oil is because of the benefits that you get from rosehip oil on the skin rosehip oil is loaded with a lot of antioxidants and minerals and also vitamin a which can help to tighten and firm the skin and also will help to give your skin that wonderful glow that we so desire especially on the age skin now rosehip oil is not rose water okay I had a few questions you know people asking if rosehip oil is rose water no it's actually oil that is made from the seeds of the rose bush so rosehip oil is from the seeds of the rose okay and there are some countries that have um a lot of those special kinds of um rosebud that bear the 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 seeds they come in like some little red pods on the rose hip. Personally, for me, I normally see those kinds with the little smaller roses, not the commercial rose, but you have those tiny roses that almost look like they're wild roses. Those are the ones when they are dried, leave that little pad. And you could go and look it up when you're done to see what I'm talking about. It almost looks like a cranberry, and it's not like tiny seeds it's uh, you know a good size a seed with a little thing on the top so they take that and they just process it and they get a rose hip oil now guys why do you need a rose hip oil on your skin you need rose hip oil on your skin because it is very hydrating to the skin especially for those of you with dry skin rose hip oil will do a number on your skin it definitely will have your skin soft supple and radiant let me do some shout out hi jason um it's on this place. How oh, are you? Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you also. Mela B, um, Great Rising. We also have um, Shivanji Yada. Hello, Chichi. We also have Nar. Hi, Naris. I haven't seen you for a while. That's Naris Scott. Happy Friday. Um, Gossip Girly, what's up? Essie. Hi, Essie. How are you? Uh, you have been missing from the Sunday chat. I'm glad you're joining us today and this chat. And we have our regular Karen McDowell. Good afternoon, everyone. I use rosehip oil and vitamin E oil together. Love it. I also made that combination also. And it was really, really wonderful. And later on in the show, I'm going to actually tell you how you could add some of these um wonderful ingredient to other oils to create you know more of a stronger use i'm not sure if you guys are here in my mics tend to be um not on however i think you're still you know, hearing uh, the mic was not plugged in but sorry guys much better okay i hope the sound is much better now all right now yes later on in the show i'm going to show you guys how you could add rose oil to other oils to create a facial oil and i have a few videos that i post this week showing you how exactly to do that and uh, let me do a few more shout out and then we're gonna continue talking about the show i hope you are all hearing all right um nakia 
I thank you for all your natural beauty treatment and you're welcome. Patricia Peak, can I use frankincense next to my eyes? I would suggest that you test it, whatever you're going to use on your skin. Do a little patch test if you're not sure about it. Little Miss Sunshine, we, um, we can. I can hear you. Great sound. All right. Thank you so much for that because I was figuring that you guys was having a little problem. All right. So rosehip eye oil, guys. Rosehip oil. And it's not very expensive i also want to say that it's not very expensive you can get it to buy on amazon and i was running late and i totally forget to bring my bottle down here but on the here i list where you could get the rosy oil from to buy now if you are in your teens and you're looking for oil to use on the skin normally i suggest use a vitamin c or use some vitamin E. But in your teens, you still can use a little bit of a rosy oil. Also for those um, with acne scars and pimples, you can actually mix some rosy oil with some tea tree oil and use it on your skin and it's going to help to clear the acne up. A little goes a long way, so you really do not need a lot. You can also add a little almond oil or even some grapeseed oil with the rosy oil and the tea tree oil to take care of acne if you're in your 20s you're looking for soft supple and radiant skin with glow to the skin you can use your rosy oil get your rosy oil and mix your rosy oil with a little olive vera and also mix it with some coconut oil and use it on your skin especially if you have dry skin for um for oily skin i would suggest to mix the rosehip oil with some grapeseed oil which is a lighter oil and use that on your skin can you use rosehip oil directly on your skin yes 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 i personally sometimes use it directly on my skin especially when i'm looking a boot of you know um, hydration to the skin and a wonderful way you can use the rosehip oil you can use that rosehip oil on your skin overnight just be generous with it if you find that your skin is looking a little dull and you're looking to get rid of a few wrinkles you're looking to have your skin looking fresh you know like really really fast the next day just slather that rosehip oil on your skin and go and sleep with it make sure you put a pillowcase so it doesn't you know mess your pillow up and up on the rising in the morning you just rinse that off and spray some facial toner you're gonna find that your skin is plump because the rosehip oil with the vitamin a oil is gonna boost that collagen overnight and it's gonna have your skin just plump almost like an instant you know facial that you do overnight and on top of that you can choose to use the rosehip oil added to shea butter for an even more supple more glowing more softer skin all right all right let me see um little okay i'm getting a lot from little miss sunshine cold pressed coconut oil folks all right um patient ado i did thank you for home remedy you are teaching us and you're welcome margaret rosehip oil is not available in my island what is the best replacement for rosehip oil carrot oil carrot seeds oil if you cannot get rosehip oil and you can get your ants and carrot seed oils it's gonna basically take care of the same issue because carrot seed oil is also loaded with vitamin a and a lot of retinol and it will also have to boost the collagen production in the skin it will also have to get rid of the wrinkles and fine lines from the skin so that's a wonderful substitute for the rosehip oil also we have other oils that i could talk about that basically have the same properties but the closest one i find to the rosehip oil is the carrot seed oil petro p rose seed oil mixed with organ oil is pure magic for the skin and now you guys you can see um a lot of people is on to something here those two works together and they are amazing if you're like in your 60s upwards try to use a lot of the organ oil on the skin 
with the rosehip oil, as she just mentioned, it's definitely going to give you that glow to the skin. It definitely will have the skin to look younger and fresher. However, always remember to exfoliate your skin before. If you want your skin to look really fresh and nice, exfoliate at least two to three times a week. You cannot go wrong with that. And exfoliating the skin, you have to exfoliate your skin regardless of your age group. So if you're in your 20s, you need to exfoliate. 30s, 40, 50, 60, all the way up to 100 and over, you got to exfoliate because that is what is going to help to let whatever it is that you're going to lay on the skin penetrate deep in the skin. Exfoliating is clearing the pores, opening the pores to drink up whatever you're putting on your skin. So always, even if I normally tell people, if you have to choose between using a facial mask and use and exfoliating the skin, I definitely would choose to exfoliate because it takes care of the grease from the skin. It gets rid of all that dead skin cells that's clogging your pores. When you exfoliate, the skin it makes your skin just radiant just shine bright and hiding all these goodness to the skin pores are open drinking all of these things boots in the collagen production on your skin so with your rosehip oil if you're going to use especially if you're just starting out make sure to start with clean skin and do the routine wash your face exfoliate your face do a facial mask and try to do a facial toner next week guys i'm coming up with a wonderful and easy ingredient i'm making you guys a very simple but a very effective facial toner the fact that i spoke so much about facial toners and a lot of people don't realize that i have so many past videos with facial toner they're like oh what is this facial toner and all of that so i'm gonna share a new recipe with you where most of you will be able to find the ingredient and you're going to make this wonderful facial toner and you're going to use it on your skin right after you either exfoliate or use your facial mask before you use any form of a serum or moisturizer or any oil on your skin after you wash if you're just washing your face you pat dry and you're going to splash that toner on so look out for the lineup of videos for next week we're going to have a facial toner um on the channel which is actually great for your skin and in that video i'm actually going to tell you how you could add a little rosehip oil to that facial toner to basically help with dry skin i'll go through the entire process of using this amazing oil in your daily skincare routine pedro two amazing oil are avocado and oba i use a different one every night on my skin thanks me and those are amazing oils and i so love how you guys are really getting into using these oils last week we were talking about one of the biggest you know skincare trend out there it's oil a lot of people are now using facial oils and that is why i'm talking so much about facial oils these days because we normally do it on this channel before but now it's like everyone the celebrities everyone is just jumping on the oil bandwagon so i don't want you guys to be left out i want you guys to be still ahead of everyone by knowing all of the good oils the good you know rich oil that is going to help that skin and listen guys when i talk about these oils don't be afraid don't use those oils only on your face your neck and your decollete pour a little bit like the rosehip oil for aging skin tip some of that rosehip oil in your regular body lotion okay use it on your skin whatever lotion you buy at the store all these wonderful antioxidant loaded oils that is great like with vitamin a and stuff the rosehip oil the cocaine oil the organ oil the over oil all of these wonderful oils add a little to your regular 
body lotion because most of those lotion is not they do have some of these oil most have vitamin e but if you want the added benefit if you want to you know further help your skin along just add some of these oil to those already store-bought pro products and it's just going to take them up a notch all right and most of the oils that i do talk about you can find them list below most if you have access to amazon they are readily available on amazon or sometime in your favorite pharmacy all right um jana j-h-a-n-n-a -N -N -A, amolo clay and apple cider vinegar is good for the face and that is a question now always remember to um, spot treat you definitely could use apple cider vinegar with let's say fuller's earth um, which is a form of a clay however I personally do not like the idea of applying apple cider vinegar directly to my skin so if you're gonna use a clay mask with apple cider vinegar I would suggest that you do half and half you had half let's say a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and a tablespoon of water just dilute it a little bit and mix it into the clay all right so whenever I use any form of apple cider vinegar, I like to dilute it because it's very strong and it could be ash. So you definitely have to know your skin type to know if this is good. But put, um, you know, spot test and you um, probably put a little green tea in it along with the apple cider vinegar, kick it up a notch, get rid of more wrinkles, The whatever clay it is that you're using. Any form of a clay, facial clay, is definitely gonna help to tighten and firm the skin. So with your apple cider vinegar and your clay, just add some green tea, and leave the water out. So just replace the water with some green tea and there you have a wonderful anti-aging, tightening, firming. And also if you have large pores, the clay mask is gonna help to close those pores up just to shrink them and leave your skin just smooth looking. Okay, all right. Um, Amazon is good, but usually they're really not cold press. Okay, definitely. Somebody's talking about cold press, okay? Now, when you're looking for facial oils, regardless of what oil you're using, it is always best to look for first press. These are the words you look for, first press or cold press. And if you can do, why not just go straight up organic? So there are going to be a wide variety, but always look for the word first press or cold press. That's the first part and that is also the richest part of the oil okay all right the process that they use is you know preserve and really you know prevent the oil from losing wonderful properties so first press or cold press all right um Rita do how do how do you look up the sea buckhorn oil chichi okay that is one um did you how did uh Oh, did you? Oh, yes. Okay. I was just going to say that's one that was mentioned last week and I did look it up, Rita. And guess what? I actually had planned to talk about it next week. So look out for that video. We're going to be talking about it. And I actually just received it two days ago. So I'm actually giving it a little go and, you know, see, and I'm, I'm, I think I'm liking it. So we're going to talk about it next week. All right. Um, let's see. Um, Guys, if you put your comment and I'm not responding to it, it's because I'm not seeing it on my end. I noticed that I'm not seeing all the comments. Letitia, perfect. My skin has been extremely dry. I will definitely try. And Letitia, I post a video last week about the different kinds of oil facial oil you could actually watch that video because you're gonna find a perfect and that is really wonderful i actually made some of that and i issued them out and people are you know saying nice things about it um facial oil for dry skin and the blend that i have on that um, video is really amazing. So you could actually go watch it. It's a long video, it's like 19 minutes, but there is a oil for everyone, regardless of your age, regardless of your skin type. That's a really good video. I know it's long. If you wanna fast forward it to your part, whatever your skin is, you can, but go guys and take a look at that video because you're gonna see how I blend oil for different skin type, whether it's this dry, whether it's normal or whether it's oil, you get a wonderful blend 
for your particular skin type so go and watch that video whenever you guys have the time really really amazing and i use some wonderful combination of oils in that um video um now we have um Gislan G H I Z Gislaine. Hello, Chichi. Very pretty, lovely Chichi. Hi, Gislaine. How are you? And then we also have boss, boss lady, Tessie Baby. Hello. Hi, Taryn. How are you? Regular on our show. Um, Linda Koff. Hello from England. And how is it there in New York City today? We actually had rain here since last night. No, since the day before yesterday. So it's like a whole three days of rain, rain. And just now the sun just came up and I hope you guys are having really good temperature wherever you are. So I want to take one more question. Um, do the UU and does Higgins? I'm curious, but how old are you? And I get that. Oh, guys, if you, <laughs> somebody was really upset with me this week on my um, comments and they were saying like, oh, you know, you like to make these videos and you don't want to tell people how old you are. But I know that most people that watch my channel do know how old I am. And, um, Dungas, do you if that's the way you pronounce it, your last name is Higgins. If you want to take a guess, take a guess and I will tell you. Actually, guys, I have my birthday two days ago. If you check my Snapchat, you would have seen a little celebration. And also I post like my cake on Instagram. You could go and check that out. But yeah, uh, I had a birthday and that is why I didn't post video for two days, I think. I hope you guys don't be mad, but I was like, ah. Uh, I'm just going to enjoy this birthday and I'm not going to be working. So I didn't make any videos, but I was thinking about you guys. And I also was saying to myself, I wish I could share my cake with my subscribers, but hopefully someday I will be able to do something like that. All right. But yes, I did have a birthday and it was a wonderful day. And my niece and, you know, I eat like the stuff I like to eat. I don't go out for my birthday. I normally stay home, get food from my favorite restaurant and just chill, get a nice bottle of champagne. But I always want a really good cake, which I did. So, all right. So guess the age. I'll tell you before the show is over. Okay. And you're saying 45. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, Josephine, happy belated. My birthday also is March 19. And yeah, March 19. That was my birthday. And... Uh, um, Douglas 45 and um, that's good and thank you so much 45 I'll take that that is actually a, a wonderful age um, love master I have white hair problem I'm 32 guys guy and I'm worried about this very much which makes my confident low can you suggest how to control um, white hair and I post a video charcoal you could actually use charcoal to, it's going to be like a form of a dye. Now, white hair is pretty hard to control in terms of, you know, you having white hair at 32. It could be hereditary. It's all about the, the, the melanin and all of that stuff going on with your skin some people gray early some people gray late now what you might not know is that a lot of people your age have gray hair what they do they use some form of a dye in their hair so go and get yourself some dye or use some homemade stuff with charcoal like a recipe i have on my channel which is very good and you have like clairol and these things have some really good dye just dye it or you could actually um nowadays i noticed that what the guys are doing they're going to the salon and they're not dyeing their hair black depend on their skin color but they are you know putting a little highlights and stuff like that in it so don't be ashamed of your gray hair that age group as a matter of fact i think i start having a few strong of gray hair at that age of my life too so don't worry about it don't let it lose no self-confidence diet that's it just diet okay you probably have to do it every week depending you know in terms of with the root but don't a lot of us lady on this chat right now we have gray i have gray hair mm -hmm. it cover up <laughs> So don't be ashamed, all right? Just go dye your hair and 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 or cut it low. Some people tend to cut it very, very low. 
like you know go ball in you know, or something like that but don't let just dress nice and have a good personality and nobody will even notice your gray hair all right as a matter of fact it's kind of a style for some people helene i think white and gray is sex see what i mean that is what I'm talking about. A lot of people don't mind the gray hair, especially now. Years ago, when I was growing up, it's like when you have gray hair, it was like the worst thing. But now, gray hair, as Helen says, very mm, out there. So enjoy it. And if you don't want to wear it like that, just dye it. It's not a problem. We all do that. All right? All right. Um, we also have L-E-D-I, Simit, love your videos. I have very sensitive skin, been using tea tree oil or over and vitamin E. I noticed rush below my eyes. I think it may be that the tea tree oil, what do you think? It could be that it's too strong. It could be that it's too strong. So you got to dilute. And all of these oils that you're using, the tea tree oil, the oba, the vitamin E, can be used in a carrier oil because they a little of these oils go a long way so you might need to get an oil like um grapeseed oil or almond oil and these oils are considered carrier oil and you might got to you put a little drop not like just directly putting the tea tree oil on your skin because you have sensitive skin another thing that you could use in your um to mix is the aloe vera gel and that's going to further dilute it and always remember to clean around the area of your eyes like you know just pay special attention to that your mix that you're using here is all strong oils so dilute it dilute it dilute it just two drops of tea tree oil to probably about two tablespoons of almond oil or grapeseed oil or even olive oil okay and another drop are two of the um, vitamin E oil, but that mix that you have is very, very strong. Okay. All right. Um, Love Master, thanks again. I'm from India. With a lot of patients, you are giving answer to everyone for free. At soft, madam. Um, your words are helpful and inspiring to 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 who see this live. Thank you so much. That's very, very sweet of you. All right. Um, we have Nadi Opara. Which oil is best to firm the skin? The rosehip oil. That is why we're talking about it today. Any oil that contains vitamin A, and as I said earlier, vitamin A is a part of a retinol. Any oil like the carrot oil, the rosehip oil, and we also have oils like the cacao oil. These oils have vitamin A, and vitamin A is the one oil that have to firm the skin to get rid of the wrinkles by boosting the collagen production. And that's the reason why we also gear these oil towards, you know, aging skin, like when you starting to turn 40, 50, 60, we like just be drilling it, use these oil, use this oil, use these oil, because these are the oils with the vitamin A, which help to, you know, firm and tighten the skin, along with some facial exercises and along with using facial masks that are clay base okay and another wonderful ingredient to use on the skin for tightening the skin is papaya when you're getting on in age if you have papaya get some papaya and use that on your skin when as a facial mask you could just blend it use it on the skin rinse off and apply some rose oil to your skin and you are going to be so surprised of how amazing two to three times per week is best for most of these skincare um stuff that we're talking about okay um little miss sunshine there's not a day that goes by that i do not use uh, uh oil on my body face i put it in my ear it is amazing and that is the way to go katty McHale, you're beautiful i'm 58 year old skin not bad but i'm about to lose weight what can you suggest so my skin does not sag um exercise <laughs> Okay, the, all those oils that I just mentioned with the vitamin A, get your body lotion, put a little dose, you could do a nice blend. And if you watch the video I was just talking about where I 
suggest different oils for different skin type mix one of those batch and pour it in your regular body lotion and use it all over your skin when you're applying to the oils or your lotion to your body do not just rub it on like that but you know massage it gentle in the skin and that is going to help to firm and tighten the skin along with some workout that is so that your skin doesn't because this is the body we're talking about not only the face and we do work out the face by massaging and doing all our wonderful face lift and um let me see who is here rita orange pea powder with milk or yogurt is good for facial mass also yes oh that's another one there's so many good ones out there rita and um the orange peel guy the orange peel is great to use on your skin so whenever you peel an orange do not throw the uh, thumbs the video up if you're liking it sometimes i forget to mention that if you're watching right now and you're liking this segment just look below the video you're gonna see the little thumbs up just click on it so that we know that you're enjoying the show now for orange peel and also you can actually soak some orange peel in the rosehip oil and use that on your skin you're gonna get an added vitamin C for those of you in your 20s and you're looking for you know that wonderful oil with vitamin C the orange peel the rosehip oil with a carrier oil such as almond grapeseed or olive oil or even coconut oil okay now to get orange peel peel your orange put it the peel in a brown paper bag leave it there or just on it somewhere in your kitchen and let it dry then you blend it to orange powder you can also get orange powder to buy in your pharmacy or like an amazon and place like that and you can use that to mix in your whatever facial you're making to get the added benefit of the vitamin c all right and guys can you believe that the time is here already all right let me take a few more questions um let me see little miss sunshine i answered those already and we also have um let's see um love master sure i will do i will do watch it thank you actually i'm applying dye already thanks again okay great all right now i just see your your reply all right and they do have and i want to be honest with you like if you watch youtube you're gonna find a lot of videos like oh use this and your gray ear will never come back um Mm -mm, mm -mm. all right okay all right um josephine um belated okay yes i did read that and guys my time is up and you ask me how old i am i turned 50 years old and march 19 okay i hope you were still on watching because i'm not gonna repeat shanique nikki um thanks chichi and we also have um this person is always on the chat and I don't know if, but you have a circle with a P. I have bad spot because of wrinkles. You're gonna do some facial massages on your skin. Use the rosehip oil or a blend of oils if you go and watch the other video. And when you apply, do some facial um, exfoliating and then apply the facial oil to your skin and you are gonna make massaging your skin your best friends anything with potato lemon um, tomato will help to clear the spots also aloe vera will help to clear the spots and blemishes from your skin but you got to use them over and over because there's no chemical they're all natural so use it over and over do some of the facial mask do some of the facial scrub when you're done with that apply a little rosehip oil or any other oils with the vitamin I mean, a on your face massage it in your skin and you could watch some facial massages or facial exercises video and just follow it most people most people that do the facial massages and the facial exercises do come back and report that it works really really wonderful however you have to be dedicated to it as with anything that you do okay guys my time is up so there you have it um more i gave more than five amazing uh, benefits of adding rosehip oil to your skincare routine and as I, someone asks uh, um a substitute is carrot seed oil okay or any other other oils that do have vitamin a in them like cocaine and you know you have um 
I'm not even brainstorming now to figure out the other oils, but most of the oils with vitamin A is a replacement for the rosehip oil. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. And this is, if you like in this series, just give it a thumbs up. This is a new series. And if you notice, we don't talk much about like, you know, the natural stuff, like the, you know, raw, raw stuff. We talk more about oils and what is going on in the skincare world out there, what you need to be doing so that you're right up to par regardless of your budget so this is what this show is about and i'm going to be bringing you whatever i find out out there like how i'm doing the oil the bacarn oil and stuff like that we're going to try and we're going to come on and we're going to talk about it so we're all educating ourselves at the same time with the many wonderful facial and skincare products that is out there on the market it's the weekend guys remember to give yourself a facial this weekend exfoliate the skin take care of yourself not only your face on your neck but your entire body take a couple of minutes for yourself even if it's 30 minutes just relax and take a deep breath and just meditate love yourself guys because if you don't no one is gonna love you or take care of you but you, I love you guys. Join me on Sunday for Sunday Chit Chat. And next Friday again, same time, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for another in our series, Let's Talk Skincare with Chichi Beauty. If you're still on the chat, you enjoy this little 30 minutes video, then give the video a thumbs up and share the videos. Put, um, also I take, um, I also take your comments, like if you have a suggestion, if you know of an oil or if you know of a product that is really, really good for the skin, don't be afraid to email it to me or comment and, you know, I'll give it a go and see what it is all about. Anything that is new in the skincare world that you are aware of, leave your comment or send me an email so we could talk or try it together and talk about it if you like the show give it a thumbs up take care have a wonderful weekend get some rest smile do a facial and i'll see you i post a video this morning guys so when the show is done go watch that video and also go watch the video with the different coins kinds of oil for different skin type all right i love you guys and i'll see you soon Bye bye